all right we are back with another video now this one is coming by candace owens she come out and say that black america owes her an apology i don't know why she's saying that but we are definitely about to find out and uh before we get to the video i always say a shout out to everybody that's been hitting that like button for me y'all been going crazy hitting that like button uh everybody's been subscribing to the channel thank you so much let's keep it going y'all keep hitting that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and let's jump into this video on why candace owens say that black america owes her an apology let's go happy birthday to me not really my birthday but it feels like a birthday i feel like i should be receiving presents and that somebody should be making me a cake because of this little update on black lives matter my friends guess what they are headed for insolvency after plunging 8.5 million into the red. Wow, what? Are mm. you, how, didn't they collect $90 million following the George Floyd? Who was it that was saying that it was a scam? I don't remember. Who was the girl that was saying that BLM was definitely a scam? That I don't support the Black Lives Matter movement whatsoever because the Black Lives Matter movement does not support me. I think that a better title for that movement would be Black Deaths Matter. They seem to protest, they seem to rage, and they seem to ruin, and they seem to support violence when a black person dies. But what about wow. when a black person lives? There are tons of black people that are trying to better themselves in their community. There are tons of black people that are disadvantaged by the homes that they are born into and just not having money. These groups do not fund them. They will pay for somebody's funeral, but they will not pay for somebody's college education. Wow. You say Black Lives Matter <laughs> is what? Is a, a political arm for the Democratic Party. That has been co-opted. Correct. Patrice Cullors continues to lie. Black Lives Matter continues to lie. $90 million, of which $21 million apparently went to, according to Black Lives Matter themselves, it went to um, building the black movement. Like, I don't even know what that means. It, it, $25 million going to building a black movement. Apparently, the black movement was Patrice moving herself, a black woman moving herself uh, into other areas of the communities of people that she claims are mm. oppressing black Americans. She's fearful of, of white people. White people are so bad. Well, why doesn't she want to live amongst black people oh my god it was me it was actually me i was saying that for years and i got called an uncle tom i got called a coon i got called all sorts of things i got That's called a wench i got called someone that was tap dancing for the white man and i think what they were really looking for was the phrase that candace is more intelligent than me and wasn't going to fall for another race hustle because mm. that's what black why do people say does, that that uncle right? tom people stuff that are is emotional stupid. and are <sighs> uneducated respond to that, right? They respond to someone saying, ah, oh, the Klansmen are coming back if you don't vote for me. And then they run in the streets and they say, oh, we got to protest Trump because this person tells me the Klansmen is coming. But they don't even stop to think. This is what BLM did. They won the ultimate hustle, right? They said, okay, we got Trump in office. We've got the media telling everybody that he's aligned with David Duke and that he's literally Adolf Hitler. So now we're going to get the lowest denominator, which we believe to be black Americans, the dumbest people, the least educated people, which, by the way, factually speaking, when you take a look at the literacy rates in America, yeah, it's a bit of a problem. We're going to get those people, expect them to respond emotionally and follow us into the streets and they can grab some handbags. So they'll get back as a, a few handbags and then business owners will move out of their neighborhoods and they'll be impoverished after wow. they sell those handbags. But we're going to give them some fun. And black people just did it. I mean, it was just it was just so dumb. It was embarrassing. It was foolish. I didn't care. Not a single minute when I was called a name because when you're right, you're right. OK, when you are right, you are right. And it pays to just wait and let time settle the dust. And boy, has there time done just that. <laughs> Financial disclosures obtained by the Washington Free Beacon show the perilous state of BLM Global Networks Foundation, which officially emerged in 2020 as a more formal way of structuring the civil rights movement. The civil rights movement. Scam. Yet despite the financial controversy and scrutiny, BLM continued to hire relatives of the founder, Patrice Cullors, and several board members. Cullors' brother, Paul Cullors, set up two companies which were paid $1.6 million, providing professional security services. Basically, Patrice Cullors hired all her family, million. all her friends. She dispersed all of the money to them, and now they're going to leave BLM where it is, dead in the water, because it was never about anything other than hustling white people that feel guilty for being white. They're idiots. 
and black people that are stupid and are so invested in their race that they suspend logical thinking. Also, <laughs> idiots. And I don't feel bad for either of these people. Oh, so man. if you donated to Black Lives Matter because you were feeling white and guilty, you're feeling black and stupid, I just don't care. You got what you deserved. So go on, Patrice, with your big bad self. Enjoy those millionaire houses. Invite me over. Invite me over, Patrice. Let's, let's hang out. Okay, speaking of BLM and individuals that are low IQ, who, of course, end up being the most racist individuals in society and also the most violent individuals in society, because when you don't have any intellect, it's very easy to impart your emotions at all times, okay. and your emotions will spiral, and you become physically violent because you don't know how to communicate, you don't know how to rationalize. Well, that was my verdict instantly regarding the adjunct professor at Hunter College yesterday we showed you who went up to a pro-life group that was simply passing out brochures to state why they were pro-life. And she freaked out, accused them of violence because they didn't agree with her. And then she threw their brochures and attempted to flip the table in this horrific act of violence. And Hunter College was investigating it. And I declared that this is a violent woman. Mm. Well, if I had just held on for a few minutes, I would have found that she then was pursued by a New York Post reporter and a cameraman at her house, and she put a machete to the reporter's neck. The footage what? is unbelievable. Take a listen. Oh my God. You can't do that. I mean, it is so shocking. You, you can't even imagine this taking place anywhere. But I don't know, in a country that is being overtaken by ISIS and they're about to conduct a beheading, that's what she looks like. She looks like an ISIS soldier, which, what by the way, world? many people, the most radical BLM soldiers, were ISIS soldiers, right? They were willing to go this far. So you kind of begin to peel back this onion and you realize, wait, what the hell is happening? She then followed them. Bro, this woman came to the door and put a machete to this man's neck. What? Look, something like that, man, you can go to jail for something like that. You could have nipped that man. You know how sharp them machetes can be? And she got the thing all the way on this man's neck. That is crazy. And I and I can guarantee you, a lot of people watching this video, even let's just say some uh, some black people might not even like what Candace Owens is saying, but you got to, if, if you think for one minute, like, look, Candace Owens is telling the truth on a lot of this stuff that she is saying. Like, and, and I hate the term that, like, the term that she just used that a lot of black people will say if they don't agree with another black person, they call him an Uncle Tom, they call him a sellout, uh, you just do everything for the white people and all that. Like, it's not, that's not what it is. It's just right is right and wrong is wrong. And that's just how it is a lot of time that some black people do that. If they don't like what another black person is doing, they feel like that the this black person is just taking up for white folks. They all for the white people. I don't know why some black people, I, I don't know why they think like that. But I, I, I just hate that word that, that, uh, that, like I said, we use with each other, that this Uncle Tom, this sellout, and come on, man. Just like she said, some black people suspend logical thinking. It, it, it's just crazy, man. But that, that Uncle Tom and that sellout, all that stuff needs to stop. The woman is just telling the truth on a lot of the stuff that she is saying. That don't make her a sellout. That doesn't make her an Uncle Tom. She's just telling the truth. She's just telling it like it is. Outside, onto the street with this machete and chase them running. That's Take a crazy. look. That's crazy. So what you have at first is these two men. They look like they're maybe going to their car and she's behind them. What and she the has world? her hood up and she has her machete. And she's pursuing the guy particularly that has the camera, right? Because she thinks he's taking photos, not realizing that there's a dashboard camera that's catching all of this. She is chasing him on foot. And then his, his partner, who I'm assuming is the actual reporter, then chases her away. I mean, this is just unbelievable footage. They're running around the car. She is a machete-wielding... This woman is running behind this man with a freaking machete with her hood up. If, they, if these uh, reporters would have had a gun on them, they would have had every reason and every right to shoot this woman. And that's bad to say because I don't want them to shoot her, but if you chasing somebody with a knife, now their life is, is on the line. So they got to do what they got to do to protect themselves. If they had a, a gun or anything, they would have had the right to. You know what I'm saying? They would have had the right to. 
But that is crazy that you out there with your hood or running around cars chasing people with a machete. <sighs> Maniac, but also an adjunct professor at Hunter College who also taught at NYU. This is terrifying stuff. And this is not something to mock. Uh, obviously, this woman should be arrested. And then Hunter College finally said, oh, now we're going to release her. So she's since been fired. But why did it take her wielding a machete to be fired? Right? She should have been fired immediately after she violently attacked those kids who simply had brochures. How did she even make it into the hallways of Hunter College or NYU? Oh, I know. It was another DEI initiative where you have a bunch of criminals that are flying under the radar of diversity, equity, and inclusion. Because what you are including are people that are insane, that are uneducated, that are low IQ, okay, and that are going to demand that you let them into those spaces to teach what? Militancy. That is exactly what she was there to teach, okay? Calling herself a professor of the arts. No, she's a complete and utter whack job that should be in prison. Want to know another fun fact about this woman? Shalene Rodriguez, that's her name, by the way, is also suing the NYPD, claiming officers abused her when she was arrested in the Bronx during a protest over the murder of George Floyd in June of 2020. Again, I did not have this information yesterday, and none of it surprises me. I made exactly the right prognostications about her, that she's a whack job type BLM protester who is exceedingly violent, despite her violence, despite having an arrest record. Yes, this woman is violent, bro. Like, you're doing all of this stuff like this. Look. Like Candy said, you deserve to be in prison. You run around cars outside in the opening, chasing people with a machete. Chasing these two guys with a machete in your hand. That is just, look. Boy, the world we live in. With the NYPD, despite the fact that they knew that this individual was a problem and they arrested her, they apprehended this person, she still was allowed to teach in the halls of NYU and Hunter College. She is not the only person that should be fired from Hunter College. The entire ecosystem that ever allowed her into a position to harm children should be fired, right? Whatever it is, it's going to be some DEI office that's looking for unique and artsy individuals with the history of being violent and protesting and standing up for their rights. They should all be fired. They should all be dismissed. And this goes back to something that is wonderful about Ron DeSantis, that he has done this in the state of Florida, that he has said no to adjunct professors like Shaleen Rodriguez, who have no place anywhere but in a prison. If you like this video, you will like the full episode. There you go, man. What a um, great video by Candace Owens, man. Like I said, this right here was just crazy. But uh, as y'all heard me, man, this Uncle Tom mess needs to stop, which I know it's not. Yeah, you're going to... As soon as uh, like a black person see another black person, uh, I guess agreeing with a white person, this and that, they gonna call him Uncle Tone and call him a yes man and and all that type of stuff. You will sell out. You ain't for the black people. So it, it's gonna always be something like that. They see it. You know what I'm saying? So it it is what it is at the end of the day. But like I said, this right here was an amazing video uh, by Candace. Understand some people, black people, maybe some white. I don't know. Might not uh, like the video, might not like what she said, but hey, sometimes they say it, like, just like they used to say back in the day, the truth hurts. It really does. But hey, uh, we have made it to the end of the video. I uh, want to thank you all for watching. Like I said, make sure you hit that like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.